My man, Michael. You just make it too easy sometimes. Michael said, why would I even bother to deconstruct from something that I don't even believe is real or something that is not real? That in order to deconstruct from something, then you have to, it, there has to be something genuine or real in order to deconstruct from it. You don't say they're Michael Scroggins. Let me ask you a question. I don't know if you have children or not. I don't know if this was something that you believed in as a child or not. But how many children at some age have to deconstruct from Santa Claus or Santa Clauses relative to what point of view you come from with the creation of Santa Claus whether it's one person in Turkey or a person who is in Norway or any other place the point being is that children are taught to believe in Santa Claus Santa Claus is not real Santa Claus is not genuine but yet there comes a time when parents begin to deconstruct their children from the belief in Santa Claus. But why would they need to deconstruct their children from him if Santa Claus is not real? Easter, the Easter Bunny. No matter what point of view you believe the Easter Bunny came from, whether it's Ishtar and Nana or, uh, or Ostra or the bunny in England and the eggs that were given as gifts, whichever point of view of Easter you're coming from it's an imaginary thing it's not real but at some point parents have to deconstruct their children from the belief in the Easter Bunny but how can they if they're deconstructing from something that is not real what would be the point of deconstructing a good one it was a hard one for me as a child but my parents deconstructed me from the belief in the fairy, in the tooth fairy. And we all know the tooth fairy is something that's made up, something that's not real. But yet, as a young child, I had to be deconstructed from the belief in the tooth fairy. And, my, and let me tell you, it was hard because I like getting that money under my pillow every time I lost a tooth. But at some point, my parents had to tell me that the east that the fairy the, the tooth fairy was not real it was just them and of course unlike them to my children I just automatically told them that I was giving them the money I didn't allow my children to believe in things that weren't real they had to be factually based but I and many others had to be deconstructed from the tooth fairy the tooth fairy was never real it was not a real thing but yet you deconstructed from the tooth fairy. You see, deconstructing from something has absolutely nothing to do with whether or not something is real or genuine. Deconstructing means that you have been deconstructed from a belief or a conditioning that was given to you without your consent. And you deconstructed when you realize whether or not it was true or false. There are many things in my childhood as far as behavior things of how I believe a man should be towards a woman, how a father should be to, towards their children. Things that I learned by watching other adults in my life that as I grew up and realized that they were not good things, those, not good, those things that weren't good, I deconstructed from those so that I could be a better husband, a better father, a better man in general. But those were behavior things. I still had to deconstruct from them. Because they were things that I was taught, things that I was conditioned into. I was conditioned into the Marine Corps. But once I got out of the Marine Corps, actually while I was still in the Marine Corps, certain aspects of the Marine Corps I deconstructed from. And that brings us to Christianity. Christianity and the belief in Christ, Jesus of the Bible, the belief in Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and Adam and Eve were things that I was taught to believe in as a child. But as I grew older and was studying and researching, I came to realize that those things were not real things, but those things were creations of man. And as I realized that they had zero evidence 
I began to deconstruct from the conditioning that I was given as a child so that I can become the conscious mind of, a, of an adult and stop drinking milk and actually start eating meat so that I can understand true divinity, true consciousness, and not the lies to which people are just conditioned into believing. Just because a whole bunch of people believe something doesn't make it real. So always remember, you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibration.